Hey guys, it's been a minute since I pretty much stopped doing a lot of this stuff for a while. You know, cons are slowly ramping back up. I've been pretty busy doing other things. But uh, you know what time it is. You guys see me in the Xbox gear. You see the green in the background. It's time for some Xbox talk. <laughs> people this right here is i want to say it's unexpected but honestly we're talking about xbox trying to get their business division correct and their hardware sales correct there seems to be something that's not clicking there seems to be something that's not going in cohesion with microsoft in the community if you guys don't know what i'm talking about it's about microsoft sales report and if you guys see it you see something about hardware sales being low but you're seeing record profits and uh that's kind of staggering to say the least i gotta say it's not like it's not like i'm surprised with microsoft it's it's the misinformation that's coming out with this hardware sale so let's check it out all right, people, as you can see here, this comes from VGC.com. We're just going to give you a little brief overview of this. Activision Blizzard helped drive Microsoft's gaming division to a record third quarter, despite having a significant decline in Xbox hardware sales. If you guys don't know anything about sales metrics and stuff like that, that is the backbone of certain companies. Of course, you know, it's Microsoft. People understand, hey, it's Microsoft. They got big daddy Microsoft and Xbox money, and you think they're going to be doing 100% all the time. And guess what? they're not people it, it is what it is man xbox is not microsoft money and microsoft isn't xbox but now this here is the kicker let's go on and read this right here. you can see it on screen for three months march 31st 2024 gaming revenue is up 51 percent over the year including 55 point net impact for activision blizzard record 5.45 billion dollars 5.5 billion dollars in just three freaking months that is a lot of money now listen to this xbox content and service revenue rose 62 percent driven by 61 point net impact from activision but xbox hardware revenue declined 31 percent year over year if there's one thing i don't like talking about i don't like talking about misinformation in the game there's a lot of things that's conscrewed in the gaming community especially with this i know for a fact people do not like the heck i don't like it to a certain extent the business model that Xbox is going to. They can't stand it. They don't want to live by it. I understand that. Trust me, I get it. However, with Microsoft now, like I always say, just, when people think of Microsoft, they think, oh, we got all this money. We can do what we want in record time. No, people, no, you, they, they're not like that. That's not how Microsoft rolls now. That's not their business model. If you guys understand reporting, you know what? reporting on xbox sales figures is good and bad if you guys know what i'm talking about it's good on the profit side but people say it's bad on the hardware side people understand they're saying is xbox moving away from hardware sales i don't say they're moving away from hardware sales per se but i do have a kind of an inkling of what they're truly doing here all right guys hear me out microsoft right now they know before the record this isn't me defending microsoft it's i kind of understand where they're going here you know it, it's like once you listen to people that's outside the ecosystem like i said i say this on my videos on playstation nintendo xbox and my gaming pc but if you're not a fanboy you can kind of see where they're going everyone's gonna lean toward pc keep that in mind for later on now this is what i believe what they're doing Microsoft, you have record profits. The stipulation right now is Microsoft needed the ABK deal to survive. Honestly, I don't think they needed the ABK deal to survive, but it does give them a better standing. Microsoft is too in too deep with Xbox that they don't want to cut it. They, they're still making a lot of money. With the ABK deal, Microsoft is getting a lot of money from Sony, of course, Nintendo, and of course, mobile that is what they want to do they're trying to drive that record profit and we are seeing the inklings of them getting that record profit but what people don't understand is you're getting all this money what are you doing with it as far as i understand microsoft is using this money to generate their new venture for their business program and we guys know microsoft has not been doing good in europe it hasn't been doing good since the xbox one third party what do they say what's that what's that quote uh, second class citizens where Puerto, Puerto, whatever his name is, Puerto Rock says all the time. That right there is what I'm talking about. People, 
Xbox is gonna go ham with the revenue. That's what they want. They want that money first. Once Xbox is sustainable and has this money, then we'll start seeing the inklings into new stuff. And hardware sales, I'm telling you right now, hardware sales currently for the Xbox series is going to be low to non-existent because honestly, they deem this thing as a failure. They really do. Xbox Series X, fine, it's, it's okay. They're not worried about the hardware sales. They know long running right now, they're not gonna sell product. They're not gonna sell the product. They can see the games coming out for this system, but it's not uh, focused on it. They're not gonna do that. And I'm pretty sure they know that. And since they see this as a failure, that's why they're going on into the next thing. They're venturing off into their next thing, which is probably the handheld, and which is probably going into the Xbox ecosystem. That is what I believe they're doing. You know, I'm not a fanboy of Xbox. There's a lot of shit I don't like with Xbox. A lot of shit I don't like. But I see what they're kind of doing. It's not, it's kind of pinpoint. I know people are saying they're putting, why don't, like I said in my other video, why put this on this on the Xbox if I get it for PlayStation? Why? Okay. How about this? Xbox, they know they're doing bad hardware sales. Okay, if you're not selling on us, if you're not selling on Xbox, put it on PlayStation. Get that money while you can until the series consoles is over and you have all this other IPs, you take the next step. You take the next step of stuff being digital and you take the next step of things being portable, maybe the handheld. Pretty much Xbox is get rid of this freaking generation early. That's what I believe they do. They said, forget this generation, let's move on to the next. Or at least that's what I believe. I could be wrong. This is all speculation, but I do see a trend coming through. And that's all I gotta say, people. Hey, take anything I say as a grain of salt. This is just wild speculation. That's what we do here. We give out thoughts to see what people have to say about it. And that's all I gotta say, people. All right, y'all. Like, share, subscribe, peace for some more gaming content.